Hello. First of all, I like to say, if you think that it's real about I'm be Muslim, then I'm sorry to say that I fully disagree with you, and I think you are a fucking retard. If you think it's a joke, then fair enough. You know, you just or you just read it somewhere and you put your checkers. This is how I'd prove that you are wrong. If you do, first of all, you're saying God would judge these animals, which you call Allah, which I don't call Allah because I don't. I'm not Muslim. I'm Christian. Um, first of all, I like to point out that animals naturally do eat of animals. Only some animals eat meat. Um, therefore, how do you judge the lion? You know, it's like if a lion starved and didn't eat, didn't eat, you know, unless it was given corn, and I don't, and then that's debatable. Would fake meat help a lion? Really, and where would the lion get this fake meat from? But the argument, argument really is, if the lion did not eat, did not chase the zebra and eat that zebra, it would die. It didn't, it didn't go chasing animals. It would eventually die, and that would probably be classed on the suicide. So, in a for all fairness, a lot of these animals are doomed anyway, because if they starve themselves to death and don't eat what they should be eating, they're going to die. Which comes under suicide, and if they're killing these animals, it's classed as murder. So really, that's that's not really fair on animals to have a to call them and say they're a certain religion. And animals not religion. Also, I like to point out some people who think that animals, some animals like cows, were put on this earth to to be eaten. No, not the case. And if it was the case, so humans. Okay, except that. If you had to say a cow is going to die, to be eaten, so are humans. We can be eaten just like that. There's people in Africa who get eaten by lions. Now, not all meat eating, meat eating not, it's not just meat eating animals that kill of animals. There are a lot of vegetarian animals that kill animals. But when I actually say animals, I'm going to include humans. Hematop Potlanders has killed more humans than lions and tigers put together. And, you know, there are some animals that kill out there, kill humans out there, but that's accidental. I don't think, I don't think any god would ju judge any animals, including hum especially hum including humans, for an accident or death. That's something that can't be helped. Um, it is, however, it's a sin to eat meat. Um, the reason I say this is because... It's because the one of the commandments is thou shall not kill. Now, if you put two and two together, in order to get meat, you must kill the animal. So you must you ought to kill to get meat. Now, some could argue and we say, well, you could eat the animal as it's alive. But by the time you finish eating that animal, the animal will be dead anyway. And if it's not dead, it would be very close to, to dying because you would cut it up so much, it would probably ble and bleed to death. So, um... So yeah, eating meat is a sin. Um, the humans will probably deserve really to be vegan. Different animals have different teeth, like humans, horses, lions, and the animals, which include humans, that don't have strong teeth, like lions, tigers, crocodiles, are for vegetables. If you get an apple, you bite into it as it is, you can bite into it, you can bite you can eat it and chew a piece off. If you put your teeth into your dog, you ain't gonna get a piece out of that dog. You may put cut cut his skin a bit, but you ain't gonna get a piece out of that dog, piece of a chunk out of that dog and start eating it. So that proves that humans are not are not meant to be eat meat eaters. Humans choose to be meat eaters. I choose not to be. Um with the whole human thing Animals that are vegetarian are actually vegan. You do get some vegetarian animals that don't, will drink milk. That's only if they are given it. Um, and the only milk animals are really supposed to drink is the milk from the from the mothers when they're young. That's the only milk they are meant to be eaten. 
um, so he was meant to be portrayed um, vegan anyway. The only non-vegan product that humans can really eat is free, is eggs, and that's only if the chicken lays the egg or the duck or whatever animal it is lays that egg and walks away from that egg and doesn't want. That means she doesn't want to you. Um, that's only time a free-range egg. Um, the egg white does contain enough the males come and it's obvious even though we don't call it the chickens come off the egg because it probably put a lot of people off um, and in a way when a chicken walks away from its egg it's in a way um, causing abortion now people say abortion is an abolition and you go have a full abortion <clears throat> well sometimes I think I think God would rather have Say you had a family that's very poor, couldn't afford to keep them, and their kids have already got up right, and they were having a child, and they had had an abortion. Sometimes that's much better for the child than it is for it is to bring them into the world. Um, yeah, so basically, you can't. No one can say that an animal is going to be judged by God because animals. Who eat meat and kill animals naturally do this. They're not waking up as more a chicken won't wake up one morning. A chicken eats a worm or an ant. I don't think it's intentional. You know, the chicken probably just try and get some corn from the ground, and an ant happens to be there. You know, um, with the lions, the lion's not going to wake up one morning and goes, "Oh, I feel like killing a few chickens today. I'm going to I'm going to eat a few chickens today." Nah, nah, that lion been eating animals since he's born. Nothing you can do about it. Maybe yes humans will put on this world because we got we're more severe because we've got hands and we uh, but uh, the the device and weapons. But without these weapons we're weak. We are with all the other vegetarian animals. We we're, we're running away for the big animals. Maybe we we we'll put on this earth to help them make sure that no animal gets ever gets eaten. And animals can still live and live a happy life together. Um, the difference between a human and a lion is a lion only kills what it's going to eat. A human will kill any animal, and there's some sick humans that kills the animal and just leaves there. That's definitely wrong in my eyes. I'm fully against that. You know, you're going to kill someone, you make sure you eat it. It's wasteful. Um, even though you shouldn't kill that animal in the first place. There's enough food to go around anyway without having them kill meat. Um, lion, yeah, lion will kill, and lion only kills when it's hungry. If you put, if you gave a lion a lot to eat and it had a full, two full zebra, zebras, and just eating it, and then this is another zebra, and then you took the lion into the zebra cage, the lion won't chase the zebras until it's hungry. So that's something you gotta look out, look out at, you know. And the lions, and lions and tigers, they have trying to have common sense. Most of them, you get the few idiots, but most lions and tigers will try and go for adults, especially the male, um, because they really, if they go for the, and they don't go for all the zebras, or the leopards, or whatever animals they're gonna go for, because if they go, it goes for young, it's not gonna get much. It goes for the mother, they ain't gonna get more zebra. So they work out so that the more zebras come for them to eat. And when the lions die, the lions will, the lion goes into the ground and lions get eaten. So it all works in a circle of life. It, all animals get, end up getting eaten in the end. Nothing no one can actually do about this. It's no fat. And um, yes, basically my two senses. Animal is not religious. No animal is religious. Any animal can be religious, but it would be a power because it's the only thing that can talk. Um, and I think, but yes, I just like to say, no animal can be possibly be religious. Um, God can't judge an animal for eating meat, and that humans are meant to be vegan. Full stop. No matter what anyone says, this is why a lot of people get heart problems and get ill later on in life. Because George God is punishing those who is eating meat. Because even though you've not killed that animal, you're still helping.